Dear Nigerian celebrities, may I please have a word with you? A one-on-one -on -one with you? You know, this is one of those moments when something greater than me just descends on me and compels me to speak up. What is wrong with you guys? No, what is wrong with you guys? Do you think people are dumb? Why are you all rushing to put on skirts? You're a man. You are putting on a skirt for your show in the public. You are African. You know the culture that you were born into. You know the place you came from. Do we put on skirts as men in Africa? Why are you wearing skirt as a man for your shows? Because something told you that nobody's going to find out what you're doing. It is called Illuminati dress ritual. It's a ritual to announce the world that you have joined them. That's what it is, literally. There is nothing artistic about it. Just go online, go to Google anywhere and look up Illuminati dress ritual. Look up dress ritual in the entertainment industry. Look it up. You are going to find hundreds of examples, many names that you know in Hollywood. It's not even hidden, it's not even a secret. I can make a two hour video on this one and it won't even be enough. Who doesn't know this? You just believe that Africans are too dumb and too ignorant to know what you guys are doing. Stop. It makes absolutely no sense. If you wanna come out as gay, just come out as gay already. Just be open, plain, tell people, well, I just joined those guys in the cult. It's okay. You're not going to be the only one. You're not going to be the last one. They stop confusing our younger generation. Stop confusing people. There's nothing glamorous. There's nothing artistic. There's nothing admirable. There's nothing attractive, appealing about a man that wears a dress, a skirt, to perform a show, you look like a joker. You're a clown. Don't do it. Because at the end of the day, buddy, we're all gonna die. The only problem is, you're gonna lose on both ends. Every man alive should ask himself, when I die, where do I go to? That's the most important question. It's not about all these things that we do. You can have all the money in the world, get all the fame in the world, but at the end of the day, the most important question is, where do I, I go when I die? You join these guys. They make you famous. They give you the big shows in Hollywood. They give you tours, global tours. You ride in private jets and all that nonsense. I schooled in Hollywood. I have seen some of these guys cry and beg for God to come help them and save them because they went into these things ignorantly. And here you are in Africa with all the advantage that you have, with all the benefits and blessings that you have, and you are still fighting to get into this place that people are trying to run away from. What is wrong with you, my brothers? What is wrong with you? What's wrong with being a man? In a thousand lifetimes, I want to be a man. I want to dress like a man. You know what this ritual that you're doing is all about? It's all about debasing you. The devil has got this idea in his head where he believes that he can never give any man a blessing unless he brings you down and tears you down and debases you and belittles you 
and takes you from the penthouse to the basement, possibly even to the grave, before he can make you anything. He wants to take away everything that you have, strip you of your glory, strip you of your prestige, strip, strip you of your charisma, everything that makes you who you are as a man. Why can't he bless you without doing all those things to you? Because he is a thief. But God blesses us without having to strip us of any one of these things. Why do you have to strip yourself of your masculinity uh, just because you want to be famous? What is all this, guys? I have been there. It's actually possible to say no. It's possible to say no. You can be content with who you are and what God has blessed you with. Stop confusing your generation with all this desperation that I'm seeing all over the place. Stop. It's not going to lead you anywhere. The worst that can happen or the highest that can happen for you is you're going to grow. Probably famous for like five, six, seven, ten years max. And it's over. And your soul is already gone. Go ask Kanye West and he's going to tell you more. Guys, stop. The Bible says the man should not wear something that belongs to a woman. A woman should not wear what belongs to a man. If you're a man around me and you're putting on a skirt, I don't want to have anything to do with you other than to pray for you and probably conduct deliverance on you if God has given me the anointing to do that. You look awful. You look weird. You look scary. There's nothing attractive about that. One bit. You look better dressed as a man. Stop with all these rituals, guys. These are rituals. Africans have, have got to know. It, it's, not, it's not art. That's dress ritual. Anybody who doubts me should look it up. I have researched and exposed these things for more than 25 years. So you know you're not going to mess with me. And if you doubt what I'm saying, I will come out with an expose, a massive documentary video that will blow your mind. I have all the evidence. Stop already. I'm worried about the younger generation that will look at this and think it's fashionable. There's nothing fashionable about this nonsensical humiliation of, of, of manhood. No. Please stop. But then again, it's up to you. I think I'm talking like I can control you or dictate to you. I can't. I can only advise. As someone who should know better, I'm advising you that this road is not going to lead you anywhere that is profitable. Not at all. So it's up to you. Make up your own mind and decide what you want to do with your life. It's up to you. But to those who are watching and thinking that this is okay, it's not okay. It's dangerous. It's a road that leads nowhere. If you want to know more, get in touch with me, and I'll tell you more. God bless you, man.